Hey guys, it's Paul here and today we're doing some closet remodels and I just wanted to share some things I've been working on with the Home Depot. So they are not paying me specifically to post this video on my YouTube channel. I thought that it was great to basically share some stuff I've been working on and maybe give you some ideas and inspiration for your own closets. So there'll be three different closet remodels in this video and one will be a walk-in closet and the other two will be reach-in closets. So I'll start off with the most expensive to the least expensive and that will be the walk-in closet. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing for more DIY projects and ideas. And if you wanna see what I'm currently working on, check out my Instagram at PaulTranDIY. And I'll leave some links in the description to all the products I used in this video. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, it's Paul here from Paul Tran DIY, and today we're doing a closet remodel using the Calabria Walk-In Platinum Wood Closet System from Home Decorators Collection. And this is the closet we're gonna remodel. As you can see, it has your standard wire racks. We're gonna take those down, create more space, organization, and make it look beautiful. So let's get started. So the first thing we did was remove the wire racks that came on most st standard homes. And then we even cut out some baseboard, which is not shown in this video, but we cut out some baseboard so we can have the closet system flush against the wall. So this closet system is fairly expensive compared to other systems, but it comes pre-built. So there's minimal time and labor involved in constructing this closet. It came on two pallets and most of it was already built. The main thing you had to do was secure everything to the wall so that it doesn't fall over basically. I would say you can easily install this in one day, especially if you have two people, you can knock this out really quickly. All right, we just finished installing the closet. This is what it looks like, all finished up. So we got your clothes racks here. There's seven of them. You can put whatever you need in each of these compartments. So a lot of hanging storage. Then this side of the closet, you have your shelves. There's three shelves in each compartment here, and you can do up to five, it's customizable. And we chose three because we like the way it looks. And then you have your shoe racks here that are pull out. So you can store about two to three pairs of shoes per rack. We have four drawers here. And as you can see on the drawers, they do have soft closing technology so you, you don't slam it and make a bunch of noise. So we installed some motion detection puck lights that are battery powered and I'll link them in the description box below but this is not included in the kit but it adds a nice aesthetic appeal to this closet. Today I'm going to remodel my closet and get it organized using the Espresso Premier Tower Kit from Martha Stewart Living. Alright time to clean out the closet. These closet shelves and racks are really standard in a lot of new home builds and you just need a pair of pliers to uninstall them. As you can see here, there's a nail inside this anchor that's holding this to the wall. And all you have to do is grab a pair of pliers, pull out the nail, and then it should be loose. And you gotta do that to all of them. Once you get the nails out of the anchors, you can pull them out with a pair of pliers It'll leave a big hole in the wall, but you'll just patch that up before you install your closet system. To repair the drywall from the anchors, I'm gonna use some spackle that goes on pink, and then it's gonna dry white. So I have a little putty knife here as well. So once that dries, I'm gonna sand it down a little bit before painting.
getting ready to hang this tower. And as you can see here, there's a notch here and it measures seven and a quarter inches down. And you wanna take that into account when you hang it on the wall because depending on what you plan to do, if you only plan to hang one rod across, then it won't matter too much. But if you want a double rod uh, hanger on the top and the middle part, you wanna account for about 38 to 40 inches uh, in height for each of the rods so that your clothes will fit properly. My ceiling in this bedroom is eight feet high. And so I measured about 20 inches down and I marked off where my studs were. And so how I found the studs was I used a stud finder. And so I marked them off at the 20 inch mark and I used some uh, painter's tape just to give me a good visual idea of where they are. The first thing I want to do is mark where I'm going to drill my holes to attach it to the stud, this anchor that's going to hold up the tower. So now I'm going to finish attaching the brace to the wall. As you can see over here, I didn't screw it down all the way because I want to be able to move the brace and I'm using a level to make sure it's straight. So once it's straight, console and closet system from the Martha Stewart series. So I actually had Ikea boards that were the exact same laminate material and pattern. And so I went ahead and just customized the closet to fit my own needs. I got these LED puck lights. They're battery powered with AAA batteries. I'll link them in the description below, but I'm gonna attach these to the shelves and under the closet rods to help with the lighting and these are just touch button and they have a remote too to control it and then you can also get the motion sensor ones that will only turn on when it's dark and it senses motion so I'll link those in the description as well. Today I need to organize my closet using the Chrome Steel Expandable Closet System by HDX. Putting the closet together was extremely easy. It didn't require any tools, which is really nice. Uh, all you need is your hands to put it together and you don't even have to anchor it to the wall or anything like that. It's easy to move around and you can use it in a variety of spaces, the pantry, the laundry room, garage space. Uh, open wall space or even inside a closet like this. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little tour of this closet system here. That's chrome finish made out of steel and you have a total of eight shelves, four on each side. I personally had each of the shelves at the same height. You can choose and adjust whichever height that you like. You have two hanging rods for hanging clothes and that supports about 25 pounds each. The shelves, if I didn't mention, they were 100 pounds total for both sides. And then you have two top shelves up there as well. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and the features of this closet and gives you some inspiration. Stay organized and see you guys next time.